Hello my friends and welcome back. It is still Thursday, May 31st, 2018 and I am still the drunk poker room and it is indeed beer time. Apparently it's double Scottish beer night. Woohoo. Available at the LCBO and from our friends at Innocent Gun comes the 5.6% gunpowder IPA. It tells me here it's loaded with citrus hops. I know a bit about the citrus hops. Do you like the citrus hops? The first one we had from Innocent Gun was okay. It was a mango IPA. This is an American style IPA. I'm guessing more west coast than east. The only disturbing thing is the expiry date on both my cans was May 31st, 2019. I may not know much. I may be no Cicerone or Prudhomme. I am no beer sommelier. But I do know that your IPA should not be a year old. So that's something to keep in mind when, you, when you're buying your beer. Look at that. Best before date is subjective. Indeed. Definitely getting some citrus hops. Some grapefruit, some orange, a little bit of that caramelly note. Okay, that's and that's what you're looking for, right? American style IPA, West Coast, West Coast. Cheers, my friends, to Thursday night drinking in the grotto. I like this one a little better. This one's a little more my style too. And granted, again, that has a lot to do with whether you like a beer or not. Is it your style? Where would I rank it in terms of West Coast IPAs? E. <laughs> Give me a second. So up front, there's definitely that bitter orange grapefruit, a nice piney back end. Um, definitely a caramelly toasted biscuit malt body. And by biscuit, a little lighter than a bready malt body. And it's like, it's okay. Like, again, I, I drink these beers and I'm like, I want to like them because I like Innocent Gun. Um, I enjoy their other beers. I love IPAs. I love West Coast IPAs. I love American style IPAs. It's not bold enough, but then again, maybe that's okay. That's what they're after, right? At 5.6% and 60 IBUs, this is not a massive hot bomb. It is meant to be a little more accessible, and that it is. I just, I worry that with the shelf aging program at the LCBO and that long best before date, this will fade. As of right now, buy it, give it a shot, especially if you like a maltier IPA. It definitely is. If you're not even into them, maybe this is a decent way to try one. It's not overly bitter and hoppy and, and malty. Like between this and the mango one, this is definitely a more balanced IPA. This definitely tries to play between the malt and the hops. Uh, then they use a Munich malt in here, which is definitely good. I think it could have used citra hop, would have really been good. But I mean, I think they should put citra hop in friggin' everything. Maybe a little Simcoe, too. Who knows? Anyways, friends, look for it at your local LCBO. Give it a try. What the hell? I mean, what is beer if not an exploration of yourself and how you feel about the beer tells you so much about who and what you are. Enjoy your evening, my friends. I know I'm going to because there is much, much more beer in my future. Cheers, my friends, to you for being here. Dennis and Gun, giving us something new.